you'll be amazed at how refreshing it is mentally, like I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, you see something? I needed uh my nose got cold yesterday so I needed a I needed a breathing hole that's what that is feeling good now cutting open the buffs doing a slightly different route today in some on shoes yeah that's right shout out to the Swiss out there who uh watch the channel I appreciate it you know what I really just forgot my sunglasses hold on be right back all right that's better there we go there we go staying close to home if you know what i mean staying close to home all right here we go and yes it did snow again last night only about an inch but the, the roads are covered <laughs> Okay, quick tip of the day, if your normal running loop is just getting a little stale, especially in the winter time when the availability to run in new locations is, is down because of snow and ice, is just run your loop backward. Your normal loop backward. You'll be amazed at how refreshing it is mentally, like I'm doing right now. Oh man, okay. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. That's hilarious. I've never actually seen Michael fall asleep on the floor. He's a little sick, so am I. We're all a little tired, we're all waiting for this baby. And so Michael just passed out in front of the bathroom waiting for his nap, so now he is down. And now it's time for Papa's lunch, okay. Getting steak. A little steak, a little banana action, oh yeah. Some tea, hot tea, you better believe it. Almost forgot, almost forgot. Love me some peanut butter, love me some peanut butter on my bananas. Just refueling, <clears throat> refueling. It's been a big week. As I sit here enjoying some lunch, I'm reading your comments from yesterday's vlog all about the US Olympic Marathon team trials predictions who's gonna be the top three on the men's side and the women's side. There's already 104 comments. Thank you so much for chiming in, amazing. Oh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be epic. And yeah, wow. If you haven't seen the vlog, I think you'll enjoy it. I break down splits, uh, negative splitting from 2016, and, uh, <clears throat> and also give my predictions for the top three on both sides. Every now and then, you need a little afternoon pickup. Just a, just a little afternoon pickup, that's what this is. Oh man, we're just trying to uh, keep it all together here at the Demore 
household. All right, Ian, yes, I don't know, like a little, just a little bit, I was probably four ounces of steak that I just ate for lunch. I don't know, for me, <laughs> for me, and everybody's different, but for me, like when I get over 85, 90, especially over 95 miles in a week, the body just starts yearning for a little more heartiness, like staying away from the grains or from cereal or from um, even from, frankly, like bobo bars, which I love, and like I just need that that meat. So anyway, that's what I decided to eat, and sure enough, I feel good. Like today's run, I'll just jump into it. Was 10 miles, 9:15 a mile. I, I'm so glad I kept it easy. I wanted to go faster, yes, in the on cloud flow. We'll talk about this in a minute, uh, but I decided to just really rein it in and just really let the legs go easy and just bop along for. 10 miles. So it was solid. And there's the on cloud flow over there. Uh, here's the deal. You know me, I love innovation when it comes to running and when it comes to uh, filming and making the vlog and yes, to running shoes. I like competition in the running shoe marketplace. So if you don't know the story behind on spelled O N, it's a company out of Switzerland and they have a pretty interesting background as to how they developed their midsole and outsole, which is very unique. You can, you can see literally tunnels through the midsole there. And I gave them a shot in 2019, actually late 2018, 2019. And yes, I'm trying to give them another shot in 2020. This is the on cloud flow model, which is their lighter version. In fact, I'm just gonna toss it on the scale here to see what it weighs in my size. We're looking at basically eight ounces in my size. So pretty lightweight, not, uh, yeah, not bad, not bad. But I think after today's run, I'm not, um, I'm not a fan of this model. So I'm gonna have to try. If anybody out there has a connection to On, let them know. I'd love to try the On Cloud Swift. If anybody has tried, the, which I believe is their higher stack height for their midsole, so a little more cushion. When my legs, again, are getting up there in volume, um, I need a little more cushion to help protect them, my legs, from the pounding. And especially right now in the winter time, ugh, it's driving me a little crazy, the snow, because it's hard to go seek out dirt and because everything is frozen and solid uh, underneath the snow. And I can't go drive too far away from home right now. You know why. Um, so there is the deal. There's the update on the on cloud flow. I don't even know if I'll do a first impression video. We shall see. Uh, but I'm intrigued by the on cloud Swift, any on fans, let us know down in the comments. Make your case as to why you love on. That's not the question of the day. But, um, and then, yeah, okay, recovery day. So I'm not afraid to run nine minutes a mile, even though that's a very uh, slow, slow pace for me. But it's like, for these easy days, I really have to make sure that I'm reminding myself to rein it in and go slow. So that's where the title of the vlog comes from. Okay, one last comment on the on cloud flow. I loved the upper. Love the upper, really comfortable, but I am just uh, need a little more cushion through that midsole. Okay, vlog's not over, going inside, and probably gonna do some more stretching, foam rolling, just to make sure I'm ready for the long run tomorrow. All right, here we go. Okay, I was not gonna comment on today's run on Strava, but I just have to because there's already 17 comments on the run, the 10 mile run, 9.15 a mile. I just appreciate you all being so uh, detail oriented in checking out my training and looking at the paces that I'm running, the shoes that I'm running in, and which were the on cloud flows today. And then, so here's just a couple comments. Um, and it just, I just wanna clarify. So injury back, why so slow? Trainers, longer recovery day, what's wrong? Uh, then there's another one. Let's see. Not a fan of the clickbait style run title, Seth. Love your vlog and it's been awesome cheering you on, but this is a, a little obnoxious. I realize the point is to keep people engaged, but you've already built an audience that cares. So to that person and some other folks as well that, so the title of the vlog was, ah, but I spelled it A H H H H H H H. And then maybe some people were interpreting that as ah, like I have an injury back, like, no, just want to clarify when I say, ah, I'm just going 915 pace, bopping along, nice and easy, 
Ah, that is the that is the intention of that title. So don't worry, I'm not injured. I feel great, and I appreciate all of you being so tuned into the training. You guys rock. But I will give a shout out to Brent. He says, "Easy day, folks. Watch the vlog from yesterday." Brent, you are correct. If you watch the vlog every day, you have a good clue as to what I'm doing in my training. So today was just a bop it along day. Anyway, you guys are the best. You're the best. All right. One, one last quick comment again, uh, back to the easy day, is that uh, shout out to Drew. He commented on Strava and said, longer recovery day. Drew, you are very observant. And yes, it was longer. I like to keep my easy days, my recovery days in that six to eight mile range. Today was 10. Why Drew and everybody else is because with Henry's arrival, any moment, uh, I'm loading up the volume just a little bit more earlier in this week uh, because who knows what's gonna happen tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So anyway, that's why I went 10 instead of the usual six to eight for the easy days. Very observant. You guys are amazing. You're amazing. All right, time to start editing. Okay. Hon, thanks for making my salad. Boom shakalaka is right. Oh man, yeah that. Salad time. Yep, he's saying we're really in countdown mode. Saturday's the due date. And for sure, at this point, oh, well, I'll tell you about that in a second. All of our kids have been here. Michael was two weeks early. Sethi was six days early. And Joseph was like a week early. So we are, we are more ready than we have ever been for any baby. Everything's washed and put away. And anyway, we're excited. She lost crush in the laundry, as always. <laughs> I'm even doing it. I Good taught time. Joseph how to do the laundry, and he's done four loads. Proud of you, bud. I'm, really? I'm creating a lot of laundry these days with uh, double, runs. double runs. Double runs with <laughs> winter clothing. All that. And you know, the kids' school clothes, they take them off when they get home. Serious kicks, you guys. We got some serious kicks going on here. It's the DeMore house. It's a good the life. The camera's tough. All right, everyone, we're going to call the vlog there. Time to go to bed. Got to take my medicine, finish my salad, and question of the day, what is your go-to food that you eat in your training when your training is the most intense? This food just helps you recover, get that energy back. Uh, what is it? It could, it could be breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, anything. So that's the, we haven't talked about food for a while on the channel. That'll be the question of the day. You know how much I love spinach, um, the steak, hot sauce. No, not hot sauce. Um, I love you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. All right, everyone. We're going to toss it back on the right, too. Why not? The last time we talked about food on the channel uh, in what I eat in a day, that'll be on the right. And on the left, we'll toss it back to yesterday's uh, marathon team trials predictions. All right. You guys are the best. The beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.